Hey, welcome back. Your Carolina continues, and we go down to my old stomping grounds, Union County. We found Dr. Alan Charles. I, Dr. Alan, I, I call you Doc because I have so much respect <coughs> for you. This, this is my old history professor from the University of South Carolina in Union. Good to see you again. Good sir. to see you, Jack, as I, always. I did ask you, what did I make in that history You course? made an A in there. I made very I few. looked it up. <laughs> you, know. you told me that I could Yeah, read. that's right. But th this gentleman knows Union County, and there's that big, thick book. How many pages are in that? It's, it goes about 600 pages counting the index. The index is the best part in the back. It, Just look up what you want, and you can find it in the book. Oh, and you started in the 80s. This is mm -hmm. what, your fourth? This is the fourth there? edition on it. It's a, this is a good expansion over the third edition. So this is the edition you want right here. Now this is available in the museum, which is on Main Street in Union. Absolutely. And we've got a, the website of the museum, but it's open uh, in the Union County Museum. It's just so full of stuff. And Union County is so full of history. Absolutely. Rose Hill Plantation. Rose Hill Plantation, Cross Keeves House, yeah. uh, <clears throat> and, uh, the uh, Dawkins House, which was the capital building of the state of South Carolina for about six weeks. When they moved uh, everything <clears throat> from Columbia. Well, the, uh, governor, the, the governor and his records, uh, wagon load records, went up there. When Sherman came in to burn Columbia, they were about 12 hours ahead of him <laughs> and went up to Union. <laughs> they went to, and mm -hmm. house so Union was the cap had the Capitol building, T-O-L, Toll of, building. Of South Carolina. Of South Carolina, yeah. And, and you looked up in the back, a typewriter, because I told yeah. you a rumor I heard years ago. Yeah, uh, Pratt is the guy. Uh, William, I think it's William Pratt invented the first practical typewriter. Union and, County. Uh, yeah, he was born and raised in Union County. He uh, grew up in a house right across from the courthouse. There's yeah. a monument to him in the courthouse grounds. Well, you're amazing. I've known you, obviously, for, I guess, 50 or 60 years. Yeah, myself, push, over 50. And good Methodist fellow. And, of course, you wrote the history of our, our Grace Methodist Church. But that book is available at the Union County Museum and the museum hours there Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? That's right. The secession governor was mm -hmm. doc, was Governor Gist. Governor W.H. Gist. Right? And mm -hmm. Rose Hill Plantation was his, I guess, home. Or that was home. his home and he had a house in town too. Mm -hmm. that, that book is full of pictures. How, what, what do you think the earliest photograph of Union is in that book? Uh, well, we've got uh, photographs going back to, uh, not all of them are in the book, but photographs going back to late 1870s and on into the 1880s from Main Street that's in about, Union. That's about as early as, about as early as you can get a photograph. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's amazing. And we yeah. can pick that book up and it's just chock full. It's, it's like 40 bucks. At it's forty dollars at the museum and at USCU bookstore, mm -hmm. USC Union, Union bookstore. And mm -hmm. I was privileged. I, I went went to Carolina, and, and of course, like many young folks, I didn't quite get through the first year. I had to go back, but I came back to my hometown of Union, went to the extension, and, and Dr. Charles was my professor in history. So I I enjoyed that class. I've known you Absolutely. a long time. Absolutely, yeah, I've known you a long time. Now, now tell tell me this. Let's see what else you. And it's a shame you you don't stay busy. I've got a stack of other books. Yeah. But we can find out more about what you have written, I guess, at the museum. Council. Well, we can, and uh, there's some uh, still in, in, have been in print again. Excuse me a second. This yeah. one right here. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here, Voices of the Past, is a compilation of uh, interviews with, uh, with ex-slaves. That was done in the 1930s by the, really? by the writers, uh, mm -hmm. Natural Writers Project right. under, the, uh, under uh, the New Deal program. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we got hold of, uh, we at USCU, my colleague and I uh, got Did hold that? of a stack of those third carbons and we went through those and, and put that together. That was your It tells you about the interviews of the ex-slaves, and we, they knew in the 1930s they better get busy with that because yes. they weren't going to be around no. too much longer. So a lot of good stuff. This is Dr. Alan Charles <laughs> from Union, my hometown. Thank, Docs, yeah. thank for making the trip no. and, and braving the interstate together. Oh, yeah, it was worth it. Dr. Alan Charles, pick up that book at the museum in Union and visit the museum. It's quite interesting.